plays games with Steve and Angel. Last episode, Angel, a blue whale was sitting in front of you, and you were right in front of me at a gun. You're like, I don't know if I can shoot it. I might miss, uh, but you got it. No, it was almost like we we're at we we're at an archery range, and they just moved the target like, like, <laughs> like three just like six from feet from you, and you're like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, Angel. I really think you just gotta have you gotta have confidence in yourself. Don't Chucky Finster be a Tommy. <laughs> And if you, you don't think, oh, the game might, if you get it wrong and it's game bullshit, I'll jump in. I will be like, oh, uh, you know, something like that. Or, you know, you could always save your game if you're afraid you're going to lose. And save know, scrub? No, don't do that. I mean, we literally can't do that because we would have to redo shit or yeah. skip through so much. All right. Anyway, uh, Steve's just going to hang out, I guess. We're holding on. Oh, sorry. I, I. It's been a long time since anyone spoke. It has been two years spoke. since, yeah. since so, we moved on. Yeah, Who's yeah. this guy again? Uh, phone, phonics? Phonics? Phonics. 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 Hooked on phonics, uh, phonics. Uh, rigged. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Look at this photograph one more time. Look at this photograph. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes, sirree, Sonny. So, whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture? And here I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. You want to see a hole? Oh. <laughs> Got one right here. R right. Anyway. <laughs> it's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Ooh, you know, if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. That very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo are printed the words October 15th, 2 p.m. Yeah. What? Photo I don't photo care. Photo Even I know that means it was taken at 2 o'clock p.m. on October the 15th. Really, Sonny? How did you know that when you interrupted me? Actually, I knew that too. You would have known if I said it. <laughs> Sorry. The issue here is the bit at the end where it says photo number two. Photo number two? The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this photo be photo number one if it really was the only photo? No. Order, order. Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. This evidence shows that not one, but two people went to the studio that day. Yet, there's only, there's only data for one of the photos. Who could have erased the data for the other photo? Only someone with access, the security lady herself. Eh? You watch your mouth, whippersnapper. The only person I saw that day was Will Powers. But the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Um, well, yes, that's what it would seem to mean. Can the witness explain this to the court? Um, ahem, I don't understand these newfangled computer things. Um, edgy boy, help. Ma'am, it is your job. Huh? <laughs> Believe me, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. Huh, some help you are. You're a whippersnapper too. Huh? Whippersnapper? Something the matter, Miss Oldbag? Ah, oh, oh, that's right. I, I just remembered something. Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate. Someone other than the Steel Samurai? Uh, well, yes, I suppose you could put it that way. What a terrible lady. <laughs> ah, I see. Your testimony, please. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. And nothing interesting about that statement. M Ms. <laughs> Ms. Oldbag, this is the first I've heard of this. Well, of course, Sonny. I've only just remembered it. Right. Anyway, Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination. Well, let's say this was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this.
Every day. I have a poor job to do. Every day I delete the photos. <laughs> Photo one. I actually don't know what you're singing now. It's an old song. Oh. What is it? Every day I write the book. Mm. Mm. I don't know if I would even know what that was if it was like presented me at karaoke, but I don't think most people would. So oh. I thought any swishes is looking photos. I remember throwing out one photo that day. Well, what was it? Hold it. Well, who in the heck was in that photo you erased? Huh, a fanboy. Oh God. Fanboy? And Chum Chum? Steel Samurai fanboys, real freaks, if wow, you ask really me. Talk about something nobody remembers. <laughs> <laughs> they get information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging about. One was there that day. Objection! Well, wait a second. Didn't you just say no one else could get in? I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were your words. Well... If you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. Mm. The grade has been loose for a while. It leads outside, and well, that's where they come in. They came in through the drain? I told you they were freaks. Oh, and... Uh, and? They're kids, children, whippersnappers. K kids? So, on the photo that you erased... It was a boy, probably second or third grade. What?! Oh, the murderers get younger and younger. Order, order! Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studios that day. One was the steel samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy who looked to be in about second or third grade. Oh, yes. Well, we see his type there every day. Can't stop him. Can't catch him. A boy in second or third grade. Hmm. Well, I assume it would be hard, if not impossible, for a young boy to wield the samurai spear. Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. Right. As I said, I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I erased the data. Um, Nick? What's going on? I mean, the boy was there. That makes him a suspect. Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. I'd like to take a five-minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. Doop. Mr. WP? Mr. Yes. Wop. Mr. What? <laughs> Mr. Wet Ass Pussy. <laughs> Nobody actually ever calls me that. <laughs> Not to my face. Tell me straight. Were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio? I... I didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping. Honest. So, who was the steel samurai in that security photo? How should I know? The steel samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. What? You should take better care of that stuff. I couldn't imagine anyone would, would want to steal. Uh, <laughs> couldn't imagine anyone would want to want to steal a steel samurai costume. It's kind of a tongue twister. Yeah, it is, yeah. So, where does she this steals leave me? steel samurais by the steel shore. Anyway, <laughs> it doesn't look good. <laughs> You're the only likely suspect right now, Nick. What are you we going to do? First, we play for more time. Maybe we'll have Angel think about evidence for five, <laughs> 50 minutes. We'll start targeting someone else that could conceivably have done this. Right. And it'll take them so long to shoot <laughs> us down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, day. Wow, Maya, do you watch the Let's Play channel? <laughs> she is right. a psychic. Right, but if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. <laughs> You... you don't sound very optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. I don't give a shit. <laughs> hey, Nick. It's time. Okay, let's go. <sighs> what does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. <laughs> God, I'm getting owned by this game. Oh, no. <laughs> the court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Mr. Edgeworth, will you present the prosecution's thoughts on this matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple. 
Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studios was a boy of roughly 10 years of age. The photo we do have may not be hard evidence. Second or third grade, 10? But there is still... Is that? No, you're right. That is kind of young. Or not old. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because yeah. that's... First, second grade is usually like seven, eight, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Second grade yeah. is like seven. Yeah. But there is still no one else that could have committed this crime. I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Wright, your thoughts? The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. There is another person who could have committed this crime. For real? I was in second grade until I was 40. Order, interesting. <laughs> Let us hear who you have in mind. However, be aware that this court does not look kindly in accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. We only prosecute innocent right. people. Or guilty people. <laughs> right. Great. As if the stakes weren't high enough. So, who was this person other than Mr. Powers that could have committed murder? Uh, should we get like a stretch in, Sung Wan? Think maybe we should go uh, take a bathroom break while Angel stays here. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> uh, All right, well, I'll be back. See if we'll we come back. back in, Angel's covered in like cobwebs. <laughs> <laughs> See, we'll come back uh, Tuesday, I think. <laughs> I? Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't think it's any of these people. I guess the well, remember what 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 Phoenix just said is like we gotta just target someone for now so we mm. can get more info. I mean, the security lady. It's kind of sus that she's deleting evidence. It was the security lady, Wendy Oldbag. Well, who? The Steel Samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about the morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. There was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. That's... <laughs> you, the security lady, old bag. What? Whippersnapper? Order, order. Uh, is this true, old bag? Old bag? That's Miss Old Bag to you. Miss Old Bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the steel samurai. To costume. steal the steel samurai. To the da 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 da. Then slipped into Studio One, the scene of the murder. Was there a typo? There was. Uh -huh. Well, why would she go through the trouble of wearing the Steel Samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in his costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. I see. Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh, yeah. Right there. Sherlock Holmes the second, baby. Oh, my God. This line. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, I think that's actually Herlock Holmes. Yeah, that should be right. Oh. That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Does he usually jump up with an objection and some new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. <laughs> well, what? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so you all think I did it? Is that it? Edgy boy, don't just sit there, do something. What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to take this, to take this the whole way? <sighs> do I be aggro? Cause I don't actually think she I did it. Would. I'm, like, I'm gonna go grab a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get mine while you're up? Uh, no, no, no dr <laughs> drinks, are, drinks are for decisive players. Ooh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> This is hilarious. I'm gonna take a sip myself. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> um. Mm, this well, maybe mm, if I press drink. further, I'll get some info. Thank you. Let's do it. The very same reasoning that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case. I didn't realize the person with the most, the greatest character arc would be Angel in this. <laughs> can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldback's actions on that day. A Chucky to a Tommy. But, but why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? 
You forget that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive, too. Hmm. Indeed. That did it. Now Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. Wait just a minute! What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy! The one whose photo I erased! He's only a grade schooler, though, as you said. Second or third grade, was it? That doesn't matter. When I was that age, I could pin my old man in ten seconds, tops! Hmm. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy is not the killer. What? How can you be so sure? Oh, or is it be nice to the kids and mean to your elders day, whippersnapper? Do you think she had, like, a an insult in the Japanese version that was, like, an equivalent to whippersnapper? whippersnapper? I, I am not an expert on the original Japanese, like, um, maybe. I wonder. And I wouldn't know what that would be. It's just, like, maybe just calling everyone an idiot. Mm -hmm. I have proof. But proof? Indeed. Then let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows the boy could not have committed this murder? Um... <laughs> Do I? Uh, I mean, the spear is really heavy. The murder weapon. Yeah, take your sips. <laughs> Go on, take your sips. Laugh. Uh, how many sips does it take for Angel to get to the center of an answer? <laughs> One, uh, two, two, fifty. <laughs> a fifty. Um, he couldn't have committed this murder because he doesn't have a card. Sip one for me. <laughs> I'm, I, take that. The scene of the murder, as we all know, was Studio One. However, you need a card key to enter Studio One. How could a boy with no formal relation to the studios have a card key? I see. Well, would the witness care to comment on this? <laughs> the windbag, speechless. This has got to be a first. <laughs> Very well. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness, Ms. Windy. What was her name? Something old bag, Your Honor? I don't give a shit. Wow. <laughs> Then the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. The court is adjourned. Oh, wait a second! I'm not gonna just sit here while you run, up, run off barking up the wrong tree! Me! I'm talking! Oh, great. Stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. Ms. Oldbag, what is this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. D not to talk about? By whom? Huh? You mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told her not to talk? W well, testify. No testify. My lips were sealed. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people of the studios on the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me to just pretend they hadn't been at the studios that day. But if you're going to go accusing me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free! Ms. Oldbag, this is crucial information. Why did you keep this from the court until now? Ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap and I always do what I'm told. No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of old bag. <laughs> Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Ooh. Globe Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. Hold it! So, you were told not to talk? That's right, by the studio and TV bigwigs, no less. Why didn't I hear about this? Don't be too hard on yourself, Sonny. We were all in on it. There were some other people at the seals of the day of the murder. Hold it! Who, who, are, who were these people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. The director? We should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run-through of their action scene without a director? Of course! Yes, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. 
So, where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. Mm. He joined the producer around lunchtime and they had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer. S studio 2? There was a Studio 2? Well, if you look at the guide map, here it is. You go through the gate and all the way to the left. The path where the monkey's head was falling over. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue the cross-examination? I think I've already asked all my questions, but... Mmm... Yeah, let's... I mean, he's kind of giving us a pass to, like, not continue, but... He said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me to just pretend they hadn't been at the studio that day. But if you're going to accuse me, I'm not going to... Alright. They had nothing to do with it. Hold it! Miss Oldbag, this is a trial for murder. I know that, silly. Still, they were pretty convincing about having nothing to do with it. And they gave me a little bonus on the side. Wow. So, <laughs> so, you got your bonus and you still talked. Hmm. I think I've asked all the questions I have to ask. Mmm, they're really trying to give me an out. Yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, they saw the way you, <laughs> They saw the speed you were working at last time, <laughs> so they're like, Angel, you can... Alright. Your Honor? We have learned there were others at Global Studios on the day in question. The director and the producer, and or some bigwigs, were all present. Yet, as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold that it is impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Hmm. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Ms. Oldbag and more information about these other people we have just been told of. I understand, Your Honor. This ends the day's proceedings in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. The court is adjourned. <laughs> I've really got to get a new gavel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. Oh, what a good smile. <laughs> I was right to ask you to defend me. Oh, really? It's nothing. <laughs> I don't know how to emote a grin like, Ooh, you mm -hmm. don't have to. <laughs> she all right? She all right, Mr. Wright? <laughs> she doing okay? Does she need, like, be a turn off button or something? <laughs> She's like, <laughs> Oh, or, or should I? <laughs> we'll be going down to the studios to do some more investigation. We have to find out more about this director and producer. They'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for certain. So now is my chance to get material for the cross-examination. So Nick, have we figured out just who it was in the Steel Samurai costume? Could it really have been old Windbag? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying time back there. We can't always rely on Angel. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off Mr. Powers. <laughs> Poor old windbag. Kind of feel sorry for her. Well, she wasn't winning any points in there, with or without my accusation. Okay, let's get down to the studios. Right. We'll be back to visit you again. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, guys. <laughs> let's, Maya, let's just get out of here real quick. <laughs> don't look back. Don't look back. Don't look at him. Don't yeah. Look. Don't make eye contact. <laughs> she could be all right. She she, really? She's fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maya, don't look at him. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Woo. No. Woo. What a day. This is no time for relaxing, Nick. Say, you think WAP's got a chance? <laughs> who? who? <laughs> oh, I guess that really depends on the people we found out about in today's trial. The director and producer? Yeah, them. Well, what are we doing here then? Let's get to the studios. 
to the studios. This is Maya's theme. I guess it goes it's, like it's going to be the generic stuff. Do, do, yeah, do, do, what to do? Thing to do. She already said do, do, do. And the typing's here, so you know this is the way. No one's here. Right. Now that they ha now that they have Miss Oldbag in custody, I guess they don't have anyone to replace her. Hey, in the guard station, look, she left her donuts. Hell yeah! Mm. Donuts. What? I wasn't going to eat them. What were we gonna Better do? Better examine these bad boys over there. These donuts. Maybe just one. There's just probably nothing new, just because the, co the computer yeah, that runs the computer is having a hole. Looks like it's been turned like... off for the day. Oh, sorry, I was skimming through it. That was new. Yeah, really crucial information. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's usually pretty obvious if it's like a new inform a new evidence. So, oh wait, okay. Um, we have to go here to go to two. Hey Nick, looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. You're right. He's probably up to his neck in paperwork after the commotion at today's trial. So Nick. Remember that Studio 2 we heard about at the trial today? It was down that path with the fallen tree, right? Yeah, I think that's what they said. Maybe the director and the rest of them are there today. Now's our chance, Nick. Let's go check it out. All right. Let's just... Oh, I just... Oh, my, I just wish I could get around this tree, but it's just... It's covering most of the concrete. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to get there. Oh, we made it. Oh, thank God. That was scary. <laughs> Are you all right? I went around it. You tried climbing it like a weirdo. Oh, I just... This is Studio 2? I thought so. It doesn't really look much like a studio, does it? No, that it does not. Hey, there's a trailer over there. That's hey. my line, Nick. <laughs> hey, hey, there's a trailer over there. Hey, you're right. Hey, there's a trailer over there. <laughs> Hey, there's a trailer over there. Hey, there's a trailer over there. <laughs> I don't have that many voices. <laughs> <laughs> Looks pretty sturdy for a movie set trailer. Are we sure this is a studio? Um, well, let's be nosy voice. Oh, wait, no whistling. <gasps> no whistling! Oh, <laughs> these look like materials for oh, making right. a movie. <laughs> these look like materials for making a movie set. They've been sitting here for quite some time. This might as well be a junkyard. Damn. Uh, let's look at the posies. What a sty. There's some flowers here. Wow, so pretty. They're taking good care of these. Don't get too close. Don't That's get to close. <laughs> don't get... <laughs> it's the wrong two. <laughs> don't get to close. You don't get Only to open. You don't get to close. You don't get to close, so you don't get your drinky. <laughs> <laughs> don't get too close. That fence looks dangerous. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Freezing. Mm. Okay. Dangerous? On yeah. closer inspection, this trailer looks like it's been here for a while. I don't think this is part of some temporary film set. I noticed that the fence was like a little crooked. Mm. Looks like two people ate here. There's nothing left on the plates. Well, what if it was one person and they had two plates? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you're judgy, judgy much? <laughs> Hey, so they ate T-bone steaks too. What's it with steaks around here? Hey, there's always room for steak. But something does seem out of place. What? I don't know. It just feels odd. Did they eat the bone? Um, <laughs> does nobody pick up after themselves here? <laughs> A light van for moving staff and equipment around. I kept it in pretty good shape. Looks like it'd run fine. I thought... <laughs> My glasses are bad. I thought like the window was like broken into it. It does kind of look like that. I, yeah, I can see what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> it like, doesn't look that great to me. Well, let's go for a drive. Sure. If I had a license. Nick, you don't have a driver's license? But look, I have this. Why would you? What? Ew. <laughs> Show me that. <laughs> Why are you showing me your attorney's badge, Nick? Also, I don't know why they made it scratch and stuff and made it smell like a oh, fart. Oh, oh my not... god. What? This, who, I had... who designed this? <laughs> I, being a lawyer sounds awful. An incinerator. Yeah. Apparently, they just put this one... Apparently, they just put this one in. It's already covered in soot. 
I must not clean it much. Okay. Well. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Da, 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 okay. Da. Okay. Uh oh, wait, what? I can't go in. Outside. Know, did you examine the door? I don't even know if that means anything, but mm, let me yeah, let me I don't know. People don't like whistling, but do you think they like the 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 the, the clock? Oh my god, can I do anything? My no. god. <laughs> can't eat, I can't whistle. No, you only do funny voices and skits and that's it. That's all they want out of you. Damn, Steve, fucking police on my ass over here. Um, hey, pal. Maybe no clicking. Hey, pal. No clicking. Uh, Nick, let's go inside. Think it's okay? No, but let's do it anyway. Oh, well. Oh, well. Now you're, it's getting, locked. Now you're getting Maya's character. <laughs> Aw, damn it. Aw, shucks. Aw, oh, jeez. Oh, 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 if I could only get that kiss. Yeah. <laughs> if I could only get that kiss. Wait, what is this from? It's from a, a, uh, a fucking Flash uh, Watchmen parody. Oh, see, that's really specific. You ever watch Harry Partridge's stuff, Angel? Uh, I have some. I've seen some of them. Yeah, it's, it's one of those. Yeah. Oh, okay. I most, did he do that thing with like, you want this cake? I want it. Is that was that him? I don't know. Wait, it I was like know. some weird song, like remixed song. I don't remember that one, but mm. that sounds familiar. Actually, I think I, I, I could I could yeah. see that. Though. Let's go back to Studio One. Let's have fun, Studio One. Yeah. I <laughs> don't really. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> I don't really want to be here. I don't want to be around anymore. <laughs> yeah, it is a murder scene. Let's just not look at murder. I'm gonna go someplace Let's else. Quit. Nick. <laughs> Nick, can't we just like help with fun crimes? Yeah. <sighs> like, oh yeah, it's like the you know, remember the like the, the Del Rey put out that Ace Attorney manga collection. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And like half of the stories are about them finding like a lost kitten, and I'm like, oh my god, is there like so little you could write about an attorney who solves murders? Yeah, the manga was not great. Yeah, it was bad. Oh. Yeah. I eventually that was like something I actually sold. I was like, I don't want this anymore. Yeah. I don't want to be around anymore. I mean, there are, there are other crimes that would be interesting. I mean, I know murders. Like you like would think, yeah, you know, crime. like oh, he's a, like there's it's there's so there's so many opportunities to write some cool things, but half of them is just like, oh my god, Nick, it's a kitten in a box. Meow. Oh Maya, don't bring in the cat doll. <laughs> and then like, oh, we don't know its name. And then it's just like, mm -hmm. oh, it turns out it has an owner. Well, I guess we have to give it back. We learned a valuable lesson. You gonna today. go through the whole oh. manga's plot for us, or? I, I mean, uh, apparently, if I, I'm not, I don't have. No. Well, I could go through the rest of it tomorrow. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. We dropped that roll. Okay. See you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>